This is part 29 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. A layout page in MVC can include a section. A section can be optional or mandatory. It provides a way to organize where certain page elements should be placed. Let's understand this with an example. Let's add a JavaScript file to this JS folder in www root. Right click on the folder, add new item. In the add new item dialog box, search for JavaScript. And let's name our JavaScript file custom script. Now let's say we need this custom JavaScript file only in the details view and not in any other view within our application. If we need this custom script file in every view, then we can include a reference to it in the layout view directly. To include a reference, simply drag and drop the JavaScript file. In general, it's a good practice to include all JavaScript file references at the bottom of the page just before the closing body tag. At the moment, our requirement is we don't need this custom script file in every view. We only need it in the details view. So let's remove the reference to the custom script file. And we already know the use of this render body method. This is the location where view specific content will be plugged in. Similar to this render body function, we have another method called render section. So let's call that method just before the closing body tag. We can use this name parameter to specify the name of the section that we want to render. I'm going to name it scripts. With this change in place, let's run our application and see what happens. We have an error. The layout page underscore layout dot CSHTML cannot find the section scripts in the content page index dot CSHTML. This makes sense because in the layout view, we said we want the section scripts to be rendered at this location. But if we take a look at the index view, and at the moment, this is the view that is being rendered using this layout view. So within the index view, we don't have that section scripts defined. And that's the reason we are getting this error. At the moment, the script section in our layout view is mandatory. To make it optional, I'm going to use the second overloaded version and set this Boolean required parameter to false. With this change in place, let's refresh the web page and see what happens. There we go. The error is gone and we now see the list of employees. Let's inspect the page source. Notice at the bottom of the page, just before the closing body tag, we don't see our scripts section rendered. And that makes sense because scripts section is optional and in the index view, which is being rendered at the moment, we have not defined the script section. So the page is rendered without that optional scripts section. There is another way to make a section optional. First, let's make this section mandatory by setting required property to true. The other approach to make the section optional is by checking if this script section is defined. So let's use an if statement. And then we use this method, is section defined. And to this method, we have to pass the name of the section. In our case, it is scripts. So with this if check, we are basically saying render the script section only if it is defined. Let's save our changes and reload the web page. Notice the page loads fine. Remember our requirement, we want to render this script section with a reference to our custom script file only for this details view. So in the details view, let's define the scripts section. To define a section, we use at section directive. And then specify the name of the section. In our case, it is scripts. What do we want to do with this section? We want to render a reference to this custom script file. So let's drag and drop it within this section. Save the changes and reload the web page. The page loads fine. Let's view the page source. Notice before the closing body tag, we don't have that scripts section rendered. And that makes sense because within our index view, we don't have the scripts section defined. Now let's navigate to slash home slash details and view the page source. Notice just before the closing body tag, we have the scripts section rendered as expected. So the point to keep in mind is 
if a view intends to provide content for a section, then the view has to include a section using the add section directive and then provide the content. This content is then injected in the layout view at the location where we have render section method call. A section in a layout view provides a way to organize where certain page elements should be placed. A section can be optional or mandatory. A section in the layout view is rendered at the location where render section method is called. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching.